I was thinking of doing a six month and 12,000 kilometer um, update video to tell you guys about like my experience with the car and um, the good things, the bad things, all the issues that we had and um, if they were resolved or not. There weren't that many issues to be fair. But a few days ago, actually, a major issue came up. So the car will be towed because um, it won't charge. Let me just go to um, service. Oh, actually, I can just go here. So I'm getting this message, charge equipment not ready, CPA066 and also charge port latch not engaged but that was because I took, um, I used a manual release and the one that's uh, always here and it's not going away is, you can see here, charge port error detected and if you go into the service menu, which I can show you how to do, you just hold for like, I don't know, five, 10 seconds, something like that, release, and it will ask you for a password, and you just type in service, and press OK, and enable. Then you will see that uh, you go to high voltage charging, and when I plug this in, uh, it's basically not detecting the uh, CP, which is the, the uh, control pilot. Now, the control pilot is basically the pin outside the, uh, the charging port. It's a little pin, the smallest one. It's not for charging. It's actually just to communicate with the, uh, with the charger. And the car is basically telling like, okay, I'm accepting the charge. This is how many kilowatts I'm accepting. And it's just not communicating. So basically for the last, uh, I don't know, 58 kilometers we've uh, not been able to charge now <clears throat> how it started was um, I went to a charger it was a 50 kilowatt charger not a, a, a supercharger or anything like that but a charger that I usually use around my house and um, I plugged it in started charging normally as it as it usually does and um, after like 30 seconds 40 seconds it stopped and that was weird so i unplugged and tried again and again it started and after like 30 or 40 second seconds it stopped again and um so i started thinking like what's going on so again i went outside started the charging process again and then the third time it wouldn't um it wouldn't charge it just the, the charger was saying like waiting for a car and the car was was throwing these error messages these ones so basically these are all the error messages that won't clear basically so cpa152 um so you can see here that it says the charge port electronic control unit so basically the charge port ecu is unable to detect control pilot signal due to an internal condition on the CP charge port ECU so basically the ECU has gone bad and charging may be un unavailable um, clear condition so basically um, uh, this says if it if it has to go to service or no so it basically says automatically clears when the when the car is asleep and it does now currently I only have this error message uh, active um, on on the car if I if I exit the um, uh, this uh, service menu then you can see that um, now this is the only message I have, but as as soon as I plug in the car, you know it it will uh, pop up that message, and the bar, the car is basically not charging. It's at fifteen percent. I was at about thirty percent when it started. I've tried, I, I think I would say around twenty different chargers, AC, DC, home charging with the plug uh, on the on the normal socket, um, type two charging, different locations, different apps. So towing will be covered by Tesla. Um, the, the rental car, which I'll show you in a moment, will be covered by Tesla. If, if we had a um, service center close by, they told me I could go with the tow truck to the, the service center and pick up a Tesla as a rental for a few days, as a, an exchange car for a few days. But since uh, the nearest one is about almost four hours drive, I, I decided not to go because that's four hours wasted just one way and then another four hours wasted back i'll just quickly show you what happens when i plug in the car okay so here's the charging cable it's a 10 meter charging cable so i can really get close to the car no problem and you can see it here it's really really long 
there's the charger it's a v vqc um, trident 22 kilowatt which works with solar panels so a video will be up on the channel soon it's a really nice car uh, charger that works with solar panels but um, today I'm going to just show you that um, the, the, the message that pops up and then a blue light no issues plug it in blue light and then it won't charge it just stays blue and then if I go inside the car then the arrow comes up and if I show you here don't mind the setup it's just temporary it says connected and it's not starting the charge so it just says connected waiting and it won't charge if I quickly un unlatch take out the plug okay put it back in locks it it was yellow for a second and now for the second time I think also the uh, other message comes up charging equipment not ready yeah so it's not charging so yeah that's our six month update that's um, unfortunate unfortunately that this is the video that I'm making about the car after six months but I can just show you in six months we did um, uh, what is it 12,500 kilometers and um, overall we've used up 2,100 kilowatt hours and the average consumption is almost 17 kilowatt hours per kilometer now keep in mind that 17 kilowatt hours um, and those 12,000 uh, kilometers in six months are I would say 40 or 50 percent on on highways so so motorways so i think that's a an average of 17 is is really good uh, we do use this car quite a lot 12,000 kilometers in in six months is 24,000 25,000 in in 12 months so i mean a, a bit above average but we've been you know quite um quite okay with the car everything seems to be working fine a few little things that I don't really like at the beginning the the, the autopilot was uh, doing phantom brakes all the time and that was a bit annoying but I think it calibrated itself because that was only in the first one or two months I think one month and since then it's been working flawlessly even even with direct sunlight into the cameras it's been uh, doing just fine because uh, this car is 2023 so it only has uh, vision based autopilot but it's been doing quite well things that we don't like is parking sensors they're crap they're really bad they're, they're useless basically I'm just relying on cameras when backing up and then nothing when I'm going forward and the beeping does not help at all it's not useful at all even with the 3d parking update it's just useless it's not doing anything the app has been really pretty pretty good software updates pretty good like everything else is really good the car's big it's it's nice it's nicely made um, but yeah this is the update a six month update uh, with with a major issue that's going to be solved in I think one or two days but yeah that's it it's uh, it's going to be fixed I'm not not really um, upset about it or anything it's really nice that they uh, are taking care of it and and towing the car and and giving us a rental for the for the time being and everything's included in the price so I know it's like six months and it and it broke already but then again I've heard other stories you can go online all the other brands have some issues um, uh, of, of cars breaking in the first six or twelve months and a lot of brands don't even told the car you have to like take care of it yourself or they're not giving you a rental until it's fixed so from from my point of view i'm really happy with this yeah um maybe i'll put some videos about the rental car if uh, if you're interested let me know and definitely get subscribed because i'm i'm going to do a video about the charging station that i'm using it's a really nice uh, uh, v2c trident 22 kilowatt it does uh, load balancing with the with the house it does uh, um charging only from from uh, solo panels it has um, really a lot of features in the app and yeah that's uh, going to uh, come up soon and on the on the channel but 
yeah that's it for today thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye